In this video, I'm gonna show you controlling volume in Reaper. So this is part two of controlling volume in Reaper. Now we could also adjust the volume of our items, which is also pre-FX. If we put our cursor right up here, see how the cursor changes? Letting us know we can adjust the volume of this item. We could drag it down to make it quieter or bring it up. And if we split our items, create some splits, we could adjust each phrase separately. Make this one lower and this one. And we could do this at the top of our track or we could do it in the middle. If we go to our preferences, and go down to appearance on the media and change the item volume handle to the center of the item. So now we can make the same adjustment in the middle of our items. Just grab this line and readjust the volume of each one of our items, which is really helpful for splitting our items and treating each section separately. And again, this is pre effects, so you can see it on the waveform. So we can see exactly what we're doing. And if you don't want to do it with lines, we can get rid of the handle and choose a volume knob. And now instead of grabbing a handle up here or here, we get a knob up here, which behaves the same way. Make it lower or louder to adjust the volume of our items. And again, this is pre effects. Now we could also adjust the volume of our items just by double clicking and adjusting it in the media item properties. Right over here is a volume knob, bring it down, hit OK, and adjust the volume of our item. Double click it, readjust it here, and change the volume on each item separately. But this will also work separately for takes. Let's say we have three takes of the vocal, Take one, two, and three. We could adjust their volumes separately with the media item properties. We could double click this and adjust it here. Hit OK. That only affects that take. This take is different. Double click it to adjust this one differently. So each take can be balanced later by using the media item properties. And we could also use take envelopes. We could right click, go to take, choose take volume envelope, and we get an envelope just for this take. Hold on shift and create some points and readjust them like this. And it just affects that take. Or we'll draw them like this. And as you can see, the take envelope is also pre effects. So we see the result in the waveform right here. So each one could have a separate take envelope. Completely separate from each other. But if you're not using takes, you can still use the take volume envelope. You can still select our item, right click it, go to take and choose take volume envelope. And it'll behave like an item envelope because we only have one take. And again, we could draw it in and it's pre-fader, so we see the waveform. We can create points. or we'll just bring it up and down from here. And maybe fade it out over here. So we created a separate envelope for this item. Now going back a bit, there's a few other things I want to mention. If you've already written some automation, as we can see right here, We could trim that automation by writing it again on a different envelope. We can go up here to Actions, Show Action List. And if we type into the filter Trim Envelope, we can see a few actions that'll help us with this. We could toggle the track Trim Envelope visible 
right here. And then it shows up. Then we can swap it with the regular volume envelope. And it goes right down here. And it's going to play back the same way as both of these envelopes exist in the same signal flow on our track. But now we can write automation to this envelope and basically trim this one. So if we go above zero, it'll raise this envelope. And if we go below zero, it'll lower this envelope. So let's put our automation mode back to touch. And now we can write more automation and it's just going to trim this envelope. Run a few miles down a desert road Stare too long at a cheap wood rose It's fixing something that's been broken And again, we're now hearing both envelopes combined. And if we want to blend them together, go back to the action list and choose Apply Trim Envelope to Volume Envelope, which is going to combine both of them together so we can see the result. Run it, and it changed this envelope to combine both of them, before and after. So now, we do that process again, and keep trimming this envelope over and over. Toggle it again, so we see both. Swap them, so this envelope is moved to the trim envelope, and then trim on the main one. Road. Stare too long at a cheap wood rose It's fixing something that's been broken Now we can combine them again by choosing Apply Trim Envelope to Volume Envelope. And we go back to one envelope, combining each pass as we write them. So in that way, we get true trim automation. We can automate our tracks and still trim them indefinitely. Now, there's one other thing I want to mention. If we go to this button right here on each envelope, we could trim our envelope or tweak it so we could bring it down or up based on what we want that envelope to do. If it's too loud, bring it down. If it's too low, bring it up. So instead of trimming the whole thing or grabbing it over here, we could simply bring it down to the level we want, and even hear it in real time. Run a few miles down a desert road Stare too long at a cheap wood road It's fixing something that's been broken So in that way, we're still keeping our envelope, but we're adjusting it or trimming it on the fly or while stopped. Lower or louder. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different ways of controlling volume in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's controlling volume in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.